screen. Okay, so I'm going to select the blue one. Yeah. Now I'm clicking and dragging to move it over into the design space, and then I'm releasing. What would happen if you clicked OK? Uh, well, at this point, I'm just going to click on the design screen, okay. and then I'm going to close out, and there's my element on screen. Okay. And I'm going to zoom in. Now I'm going to use the hotkey to zoom in, so you'll see that I've selected everything on screen, yeah. and if I hit F7, it zooms to the selected objects. Okay. Okay. So at this point, I can now use my fit object to path icon here, okay. and I'm going to click on that. And the important part in the fit object to path is that we use the nodes and distance option to uh, apply the rhinestone to the permaboss uh, text. So I'm going to select nodes and distance. Why? Why? What does it do specifically? Well, that, that's the routine that, uh, or the algorithm that was written that automatically finds all the corners in the um, in the artwork that you're right. applying the rhinestone to. So now I know on the motif maker that I have that specific spacing factor. So if the stone is two millimeters wide, just for argument's sake, put in three millimeter spacing. That means that from center to center, there's three millimeters of space between the stone. Correct? Correct. Okay. So I'm going to enter three, and then click OK, and there's the. So now you can go home already. You're done. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> okay. Can you do me one favor? Uh, Okay, so go undo this, or uh, sorry, go zoom out. Okay, and uh, go to the zoom into the A for a second. So what Rhinestones Works is doing is preventing collision, right? Correct. And it's following a rule. So quickly show me how I would add in a stone in those two spots, just for argument's sake. Okay. I'm going to click and drag to zoom in on that area. And there's more than one way to approach this, right? That is correct. Um, in this case, what I'm going to do is create another uh, another stone here. So what I'm, I'm selecting this stone, right? I'm holding down my Alt key yeah. and then clicking on the stone and moving it over this way. And then... So 
then I can grab this and I can position it on the part. Okay. See the stones to the right of that one? Yes. Can you make them parallel or exactly the same height to each other? So I'm going to select. Um, I'm going to select this stone and I'm going to select this one, and I'm going to go to Layout, Arrange and Distribute, and I can align to the last object, and I can. Uh, let's do center horizontally. There you go. Okay. So they're aligned. Okay, so get rid of this quickly. It's pretty quick in advance. I mean, you just have to practice it a few times. Yep. And uh, use the shortcuts whenever you can. So I want the stones off of uh, off of the word. Okay. And uh, what did you do there, by the way? Um, okay, I'm going to edit and then undo. Yeah. All right. Now you'll notice over here that these are showing the two colors that are active in this job. Okay. So if I want to select just the blue colors, yeah. double, I double click on it, and it highlights all the blue colors in the job, and then I'm going to delete. Okay. And it just leaves the black color. So that's why... Um, if I picked a red grindstone, it would have been red? Correct. Okay. Yeah. Now what I want to do is, we've got this word again. Yes. I want to apply the stones to it. You describe what you did, but this time I want to I want to put the stones closer together, maybe too close. Okay. So let's go back to the clip art uh, viewer, and I'm going to click on the elements folder, yep. 